Hey, you guys. Welcome to Shake It Off with Angela Fall Edition. This is week six, and I just picked up a salad from um, Subway because I have been busy and um, <clears throat> I needed something. It's like 2 p.m. I haven't eaten anything. I've got my little napkin here. Here's my salad. Um, as you guys know, I eat one meal a day. So this is going to be my one meal. And the chicken smells so good. So if I can open it up here. Um, so this is going to be just kind of like a relaxed shake it off with Angela video. Um, oh, this smells so good. Mm, anyway, here is my salad. I'm actually surprised that they didn't put the dressing on the side because usually they do. But I also ordered double meat, so extra protein here. This is the rotisserie style salad. And I'm pretty sure I got it with no cheese. Um, if I can open my fork here, that would be good. So I am at my Zen place and we are going to have a little um, eat lunch with you guys here. Yeah, I don't like this. I don't like their bowl being like kind of smaller and it's hard to like get down into the actual salad. Like the lettuce and stuff. Mmm, that tastes so good without like moving shit around or like stuff falling out or it's hard to get anyway so update <clears throat> unfortunately i have some bad news and some more bad news but it can only go up from here right so i gained 2.4 pounds this week this is the very first time in this Shake It Off with Angela series that I've actually gained weight. Um, I have some theories about this as to why I gained weight. Number one, I just finished the antibiotics that I'm on for my pneumonia. And one of the side effects was gaining weight. So there's that. Another is I was so, so vigilant on working out and exercising um, before I had gotten my pneumonia. And that first week of having pneumonia, I lost my appetite. So I lost like, I don't know, what was it? Three pounds, four pounds. Well, I gained my appetite back and I'm not able to work out yet. So there's that, like I'm getting the calories, but I'm not getting the exercise. So that might be another reason as to why I gain the weight. Um, stress, another thing. Um, and I just got back from the doctor. So I had a recheck on my lungs. I had another x-ray done. And unfortunately, the pneumonia is still there, but the infection is completely cleared. She said comparing the x-ray from the 10 day mark, like 10 days ago or 12 days ago, whatever it was till now, she said it has cleared immensely. It's going to continue to keep on clearing. There is no infection. So no need for more antibiotics. And it's going to take time. She said, Oh, mm. so there's that. Mmm. This is good. Mm -mm -mm. So I had asked her when I could start working out again. And she said I can start working out again now, but she wants me only at 25% of what I was doing before I got pneumonia. And then she said, I want you to do that for a week. And then the following week, I want you to bump it up another 25%. She said, until a month passes and you're fully back to where you were. And it's like, oh, Jesus. So I'm a little bit discouraged about that. 
But there's really nothing I can do. I'm like at the mercy of my body. You know? Um, I asked her about the prednisone. She said she doesn't think I need prednisone right now. She thinks the cough, she thinks that there's like no more like actual fluid that I need to cough up. Um, so she did give me like some coughing gels. Like they're these little like gel tablets that you take for coughing or whatever that will suppress my cough a little bit. She said that will help. She said, continue to use the nebulizer, continue to use a fast acting inhaler if needed. And, um, she said, you're doing great. So, I mean, that's, I guess I'll take it. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, my fever is gone. My body aches are gone. My headache is gone. The pain in my chest is gone from when I was coughing. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's all good. It's just like, so it is a little bit depressing and like discouraging that it's going to take me that long to get back to like where I was. But I will say this, the one thing that I can control right now is what I put in my body. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to control what I put in my body. And that includes protein and vegetables and more protein. So I'm going to have this. And then for my second little like meal or whatever, when I get home, I'm going to do a yogurt because I need to get that good gut bacteria back into my body. And then I'm going to mix that with some pumpkin protein and just, you know, have that for like a little second meal type situation. Mm. This salad is so messy. Where's my napkin? Oh, yeah. It was $11 and some change. Mm. Because I got the double meat. Mm. But I think the whole salad is like 300 and some calories. I don't know. I'll have to double check on it. Because I don't know if that was with the double meat. So I might just say, fuck it. Let me chart it at 500 calories. I don't know. Oh my God, you guys, the rain here is crazy. Mm. Anyway, so that's kind of where I'm at. Depressed, alone. It's raining. Sitting in my car. At my Zen place, eating my meat and vegetables. So that's where I am right now. I will say this, compared to, I went back to work on Tuesday. Compared to where I am on Tuesday from today, is like night and day. Like, I was coughing so bad. Like, I was fearing that I was going to wet myself, so I sit on the toilet when I cough. It was crazy. Like, my attacks were that bad. Um, so, I mean, where I am now, I can have a conversation with you guys, and I'm not, like, dying of cough, you know? Mm. I love spinach. Who knew? Who would think that, like, 15, 20 years ago, somebody would say, Angela loves spinach. Or Angela loves vegetables. It just wouldn't even be in my vocabulary. It wouldn't be. Mmm. Mmm. 
Also, it was my birthday week, you guys. And we went to the little farmer and I did get one of those small apple pies. Well, I'm not going to lie. I got two of those small apple pies. And I ate those. So that's another thing. I, I mean, I really haven't been, like, tracking my food. Um, I've just been kind of, like, happy that I had an appetite back. That I was just like, oh, my gosh, she's hungry. Let's eat. Because I did lose so much weight so fast. So, I don't know. I'm tracking. I'm going to track again this week. That's going to be my goal is I'm tracking again and I'm going to start working out on Monday doing 25%. Now, here's what I don't get though. Like my weights. Does that mean that I bump it down like 75% of the weights that I was lifting? Like, do I go like super soft like that? I'm guessing so, yeah. Mmm. So that's what I'm going to do. This salad is fucking huge. I mean, they just jam-packed this stupid little bowl. Mm. Remember back in the day when Subway's bowl was really wide? So they have these salads and then they have these bowls too. So I was kind of like confused on the app. And I was going to order a soup. They don't have soup anymore though. So that was kind of shitty. Mm. I haven't even gotten to like a fourth of it gone. Like it's so big. Mm. It's so good though. Anyway, you guys, I think I'm going to close this up and finish it at home, but I did just want to say thank you guys so much for everyone who was like checking up on me, asking how I was doing on all my different platforms. It really is greatly appreciated. You guys are definitely appreciated. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to finish this up at home. But anyway. Oh, well, here comes somebody anyway, so that's good. Mm. So I hope you guys all have a good week. Mm. Let me know. What you guys are doing different this week. If anything... Um, and I will see you guys all next week with another Shake It Off with Angela fall edition. And hopefully my number will be down. Okay. Bye guys.